what we're going to take a look at here is just the uh, 3ds max interface just a really quick overview so we have four viewports here okay you can click on them and you'll highlight them this is the area where you'll build up your scene or your model okay um, we have up along the top here we have various menus here you can go into them and you'll see all sorts of options in here we've got a toolbar here um, you'll be using this quite a lot and over here is one of the most important panels we have our create panel our modify panel and our hierarchy panel we'll, we'll ignore these last three for now um, in the create panel you can see we've got different th sort of types of different objects we can create here from what are called primitives to splines or lines we can create lights cameras um, these are helpers okay we're going to stick to this one here standard primitives okay for for this lesson okay along the bottom here we have a timeline okay we'll not be using this too much in the first few lessons this is how we play back your animation we have um, controls here we can hit play you can see the timeline moving along okay let's just rewind it and up here in each corner we have what's called the view cube view, view cube which you can click on and rotate around I generally don't like using that um, I usually just use the keyboard shortcuts so one of them is alt middle mouse button and I'm just holding it down and moving my mouse and looking around okay um, control alt middle mouse button to zoom in and out okay and then just middle mouse button by itself this is called a pan this pans around our scene you'll hear these different um, expressions like pan and zoom these all come from the television world so the the, the terminology and nomenclature is the same as used in the TV world okay so um, we can do things like we don't have to work on four viewports here we can press alt and W if I'm in this perspective viewport you can see what I mean by is when I'm in it, in it we've got this yellow border around the the edge here so if I hit alt W we get full screen okay alt W again back to there down here we can set up sorry here it is we can set up different um, configurations for the screen for instance this one here three viewports along the bottom one up here or we could go here generally you'll find that you'll only really want to work in one viewport most of the time okay there are other times when you'll want four but for me it's just too confusing okay I'm um, going to give you a few keyboard shortcuts here so P will switch to perspective mode okay and I'm just holding down alt and middle mouse button here to move around it so that's P for perspective mode we can go L for left view and you can tell what view you're in by looking up the top left hand corner here left okay T top view you can see the little viewport label has changed up here we can also click here and choose our viewport here are the keyboard shortcuts T F and L by default there are none set up for bottom back and right but we'll, we'll, we'll get to that later on okay so there's front viewport and back to perspective alt middle mouse button to look around Control alt middle mouse button to zoom in and out and middle mouse button to pan okay now we're going to take a look at creating a few primitives okay these are primitives here they're called primitives because they have very few parameters for instance if I click sphere you can see it's highlighted here move over click and drag 
Okay. And we've got a wireframe view of a sphere. F3. Changes from wireframe to solid view. Okay. When we're in solid view, we can hit F4. And that will give us um, a mixture of wireframe overlaid on top of um, solid view. Okay, let's take a look at box. Just click and drag. I'm holding down the left mouse button here. And when I let go, we then move the mouse to give the box some height. And then click again. Okay, you can see we're still in uh, box creation mode. So I can create as many boxes as I like here. Okay, now you'll find each of these has a different combination of clicks and drags to create it. So for instance, the sphere is very simple, it's just click and drag. Okay, Taurus, click, drag, let go, drag the mouse again. I'm not holding the mouse button here. Click to set it. Okay, cone, click, drag, click. Move the mouse, I'm not holding it down here. Okay, um, plane, click and drag. Okay, alt middle mouse button to look around. If you prefer, you can use this, but you're actually better off learning the keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so that's a brief overview of the interface, an overview of how to navigate around your scene and how to create primitives okay